Ben dahi yedi iklimin padişahı. Welcome watchers. My name is Zubair and in this video I am going to tell you about Sultan Murad Pol. Murad IV was born in Constantinople, the son of Sultan Ahmed I and Qasim Sultan. He was brought to power by a palace conspiracy in 1623, and he succeeded his uncle Mustafa I. He was only 11 when he ascended the throne. Early life. Murad IV was born on 27 July 1612 to Ahmed I and, and his consort and later wife Qasim Sultan. After his father's death, when he was six years. He was confined in cafes in with his brothers Suleiman, Qasim, Bayazid, and Ibrahim. Grand Vizier Kemal Kesh Ali Pasha and Suleyh Alisim Yahya Effendi were deposed from their position. They did not stop the words. The next day, the Sultan, the child of age six, was taken to Ayub Sultan Mosulim, the swords of Muhammad and Yahu Sultan Selim were bequeathed to him. Five days later, he was circumcised. Reign. Murad IV was for a long time under the control of relatives and during his early years as Sultan, his mother's cousin Sultan essentially ruled through him. The empire fell into anarchy. The Safavid Empire invaded Iraq almost immediately. Northern Anatolia erupted in revolts and in 1531, the dynasty stormed the palace and killed Grand Vizier among others. Murad IV suffered, suffering the fate of his elder brother Usman I too and decided to assert his powers. At the age of 16, in 1628, he had his brothers-in-law, his sister Gavran and Sultan husband, who were former governor of Egypt, Kara Mustafa Pasha executed for a claim action against the law of court. After the death of Grand Vizier Firkis Mehmed Pasha in the winter of Tokat, Hafiz Ahmed Pasha became a Vizier and Emperor on 8 February 1625. The epidemic which started in the summer of 1625 and called the plague of Mehmed Pasha spread to threaten the population of Istanbul. On average, a thousand died every day. The people fled to the Okamadini to escape the plague. The situation was worse in countryside outside of Istanbul. Absolute rule and imperial policies. Murat IV tries to quell the corruption that had grown during the reigns of previous sultans and that had not been checked while his mother was ruling through proxy. Murat IV banned alcohol, tobacco and coffee in Constantinople. He ordered execution for breaking his ban. He would reportedly patrol the streets and lower stevens of Constantinople in civilian's clothes at night, policing the informants of his command by casting off his biscuits on the spot and beheading the offender with his own hands. Fire of 1633 On 2 September 1633, the big civilian fire broke out, burning a fifth of the city. The fire started during the day when a altar burned the scrub and the ships crawled into the wall. The fire which spread from the three branches to the city, one arm lower towards the sea. He returned from Zurich and walked to Abtazul. The Sultan could not do anything other than watching sentences Wazir's Bostansi and Yenisiri. The most beautiful districts of Istanbul were renewed. The war against Safavid Iran. Murad IV's reign is most notable for Ottoman Safavid war against Persia, that is today Iran, in which Ottoman forces managed to conquer Azbazian, occupying Tabriz, Hamadan, and capturing Baghdad in 1638. The fifty of Zuhuf that followed was generally reconfined to the border as agreed by the peace of Amasya and Eastern Armenia, Eastern Georgia. Relationships with the Mughal Empire While he was encamped in Baghdad, Murad IV is known to have made ambassador of Mughal Emperor Shah Jah, Mir Zarif and Mir Barakrao, who presented thousand pieces of finely embroidered clothes and even armor, Murad IV gave them a finest weapons saddles and captains and ordered his forces to accompany the Mughals to the port of Basra where they set sail to Tartar and finally Surat. Architecture Murad IV puts emphasis on architecture and his period many monuments were erected. In Yerevan were both built in the local site. Some of the others include the Kavak Saravi Pavilion, the Midiani Mosque, the Bariam Pasha, Darvish Lodge, Tom, Fountain and Primary School and the Serafete Mosque in Konya. Music and Poetry Murad IV wrote many poems. He used Muradi Penemin for his poems. He also liked testing people with riddles. Once he wrote a poetic riddle and announced that whoever came with the correct answer would get a generous reward. Tiadi Bey, who was also a poet from Edirin School, gave the correct answer and he was promoted. Murad IV was also a composer. He has composition called Uzzul Teshri. Family Very little is known 
about concubine of Murad IV, principally because he did not leave sons who survived his death to reach the throne. But many historians consider Aisha Sultan as his consort until the very end of Murad's 17 years reign. When a second Hasiki appeared in this record, it is possible that Murad had only a single concubine until the advent of the second, or that he had a number of concubines but single but only two as Hasiki. Death Murad IV died from cirrhosis in Constantinople at the age of 27 in 1640. Rumors had circulated that on his deathbed, Murad IV ordered the execution of his mentally disabled brother, Ibrahim, which would mean the end of Ottoman line. However, the order was not carried out. In popular culture, in TV series, Motihazim Yozul Qasim, Murad IV is portrayed by Kaganati Ek as a child and Mitin Ak Dulgar as Sultan.